it's 11 o'clock and they're saying we got some storms coming in in about an hour. So I don't know how far we'll get on this log. He saw me pull out those nails. There was three nails and some kind of washer up here at the top and one of the nails broke off. I couldn't get to the bottom of it. Hopefully on this first cut, we'll get rid of it. My luck will probably hit it, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I can't just sit here all day trying to get a nail out. So if it starts getting pretty bad out here, friends, I'll probably close down and finish this up tomorrow, but we'll see what we can do today. This is Black Walnut. My friend Joe down in Georgia brought this up here about two months ago. I have no idea how long it's been on the ground, friends. By the looks of things, probably four to five years. Maybe even longer. It could have been dead standing before it came down. If Joe's watching, maybe down in the comments below, he'll let us know the history behind this log. I can't remember what he said about it at the time. I'm not even sure I even asked him, so we're not sure about this. And man, the lo this wind is getting out of hand. My goodness, hopefully the audio is coming through okay. Well, I'm going to do eight quarter slabs. That's two inches on the thickness. This log is about six and a half feet long. And right here, guys, I took my chainsaw and I kind of took some edges off right here, but I'm not sure if it's going to fit, to be honest with you. But I did all this prep work with these two by fours, wedging it up here. Hopefully we're okay, but we may have to throw this thing up on its side and take a cut to get this width down just a little. 34 inches is the mat's width this 70 will take with the wide head on it. And we're gonna be right there at it, guys, on this crotch right here. It's gonna be matching out the head. There's no doubt about that. Down here on the other end, it's about 28 inches on the small end. But this should be some decent slabs, friends. I'm anticipating a lot of rot and a lot of punky wood out here on the edges. But once we get to the heartwood, it should be okay, guys. I, I say this all the time. If you had a lot of money and you wanted to build a log cabin, black walnut would be the way to go because this stuff does not rot, guys, I tell you. I've sawed up walnut that's been on the ground for five and six, seven years before, and it's always nice and solid on the inside. So let's get going, guys. Let's open it up, see how we do. On the sawmill, I got a silver tip Joe Main Turbo 7 on there. If you want those blades or if you're interested in them, give him a call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. And real fast, guys, thanks to everybody on Patreon for supporting me here on the channel. I really appreciate it. tickled to death right there guys i didn't hear anything and hopefully we did not hit any metal i thought for sure i'd hit a bunch of nails right here i think we're okay well let's pull this one off and see what it looks like hopefully this won't be for nothing All right, so right there, you see that black stained area right there? That's where that nail went through and that will stain the timber every time. Nothing you can do about that, just part of it. This time you guys see somebody putting a nail in a tree, stomp what you're doing and get their hammer and don't give it back to them. Throw it in the woods or something. I tell you what, it's really frustrating when you got a bunch of nails inside of a log here. I think we're okay. Man, this is nice. Let's check out her width. 30, about 32 inches right there and about 33 there at the top. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Well, there's a nail. I didn't hear it guys, I spoke too soon. We got a nail right here at the bottom. That's why I got a little bit of a hump right there. A little nail like that would cost you about $30 every time you hit one. That's a very expensive nail right there.
见。